Well, since Russia's invasion began, millions of refugees have fled Ukraine. And among those refugees, a group of young ballet dancers who are now right here in Philadelphia. They're continuing their education at the Rock School for Dance Education in South Philadelphia. And Howard Monroe sat in on one of their rehearsals. The feelings that I have when I'm dancing, like, when, like I'm free and I like that I'm doing it. It's really like, and 16-year-old Nikita Malaki can still dance thousands of miles away from his home in war-torn Ukraine. I really like it here, but I still worry about my family in Ukraine. I text them, I call them every day. I, I still think about them. Nikita is one of four ballet dancers from Ukraine who are now continuing their education at the Rock School in South Philly. They arrived in Philadelphia in late January, and two more dancers are awaiting visas. The bombs was like every day. So yes, it's a little bit difficult. My parents are there. And go. The student refugees range in age from 14 to 18 years old. In addition to dancing, English as a second language is also part of their curricula. It doesn't know boundaries. It doesn't know borders. It doesn't know politics. Art is where we come together as a people. So she's going to passe, reach forward. They host dancers from 10 countries and 23 states. Look at her. The fact that we're able to train them here is the best of the best. And despite the turmoil happening in Ukraine, these students, they'll be here in Philadelphia for the next year, honing their skills. And then they'll be figuring out the rest of their lives. What is your favorite thing about being a ballet dancer? It's her life. It's her love. Despite the current hardship at home, the dancers say giving up on their dreams wasn't an option. She wanted to do it, and even considering what's going on, it was never a possibility that she wouldn't do it. And Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia.